Lesson 4.4. Solve a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 by factoring. Very similar to yesterday's lesson. The only difference is the a. And we're also adding, factoring the monomial first. So we have monomials, which would be one numbers, and the a. So the first thing you're supposed to do when you factor is factor out the monomial first. That means you factor out any common terms, and then you factor what's left. So for example, if I'm factoring this, I can look and say, oh, all the numbers are divisible by 2. So I could factor out a 2 first. What's left would be 14 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2. That gives me the 7, 1, and 6. And then you'd see what's left. Okay, so we have uh, trinomials with the two sets of parentheses. And we say what times what makes 7x squared? Well, how about 7x and x? And then you say, what times what makes negative 6? Well, how about negative 6 and 1? And then we check. The outers are 7x times 1. Enters are negative 6x. Add those together, you get 1x. Just what we wanted right there in the middle. So it works. Yay! We have our factoring. Let's try factoring another. We look at this and say, oh, the numbers are both divisible by 3, and there's x's in both of them. So we can factor out a 3 and an x. So if I do 3x squared divided by 3x, it's just an x left. 18 divided by 3 is the 6, and the x got factored out. There's no more x's with exponents. We factored the monomial, so that means we are done factoring. Let's try another example. Looking at this example, I see, oh, all the numbers are divisible by 3. So let's factor out a 3 first. 12 divided by 3 is the 4. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now, let's try factoring the trinomial. So, we could try what times what is 4x squared? It could be 4x and x. Times what is 1 is just 1 times 1. It's our only option there. Check the outers and the inners. The outers give us 4x. Inners give us 1x. Add those together, get 5x. But I'm looking for 1x. So that doesn't work. Let's try something else. To get 4x squared, maybe we could do 2x times 2x. And the 1 is still just 1 times 1. Check the outers are 2x times 1 and 2x times 1, which gives us 4x, which is still not the x we're looking for. There's no other options. The only way to get 4 is 4 times 1 or 2 times 2. The only way to get 1 is 1 times 1. So our answer is just that. Let's try this one. Oh, let's see. What could we factor? Look for the monomial first. Oh, we could factor out a 2. They're both divisible by 2. Factor out the 2, and then look, oh, x squared minus 16. That's a difference of squares. Because 16 is 4 squared. So it'll be x minus 4, x plus 4. But don't forget the 2 that was hanging out in front. Now we need to solve. Same process, though. Check to factor a monomial. Oh, there's not any. So let's try our two sets of parentheses. And 
and say, what times what is 9t squared? Well, how about 3t? 3t. And what times what is 4? We could do 2 and 2, and then we're doing negative and negative, because I want the middle to be negative. Check the outers. 3t times negative 2 is negative 16. Negative 2 times 3t is negative 16. Add those together, you get negative 12t, which does match our middle. So now take each factor equal to 0. The same factor, so it's just 3t minus 2 equals 0. Add the 2, divide by 3, so our answer is 2 thirds. Check by plugging it back in. Let's try solving another one. So you need to make it equal to 0, so let's move everything to one side. So I'm going to subtract the 3x and add 6 to both sides. So I end up with that. And now look for a uh, monomial, a common factor. There's not any. So let's just factor. Two sets of parentheses. Say so what times what is x squared? Well, it's just x times x. What times what is negative 4? Well, how about negative 4 times 1? Could do negative 2 times 2 if you wanted to. Uh, let's check. Outers are 1x. Inners are negative 4x. Add those together, get negative 3x. Oh, so this is the correct one, because I'm looking for the negative 3x. Each factor equal to 0. Solve each of those, and you get x is 4, and x is negative 1. For our word problem today, you are designing a garden. You want the garden to be made up of a rectangular flower bed surrounded by a border of uniform width, which means the same width, to be covered with decorative stones. You'll, you have decided that the flower bed will be 22 feet by 15 feet, and your budget will allow for enough stone to cover 120 square feet. What should be the width of your border? Well, we have a big rectangle. That's our garden. And the flowers are going to go in the middle, which means the stone's going in that gray area. So the flowers are 15 by 22. Our gray area is the uniform width, so let's say it's x wide. So our border would be the outer area the outside rectangle minus the inside rectangle. And that should give us the area of the gray border that will be covered with stone, which we said was 120 square feet. So the outer rectangle area, length times width, is 2x. And it's 2x's because there's an x here and an x here, plus the 22. And the width is 2x's, one there, one here, plus the 15, minus the middle rectangle area, which is just length times width, or 22 times 15. Let's multiply everything together. So we're going to FOIL here. So we do the first, which is the 4x squared. Outers, that's the 2x times 15, or 30x. Inners. 22 times 2x, which is the 44x. Last, 22 times 15, which is the 330. And then we minus the 22 and uh, times 15 that was already there. So it's minus 330. And it equals 120. Collect like terms. The 330s cancel out. And 30x and 44x gives us 74x make it equal to 0, so we subtract the 120, then factor. Everything's divisible by 2, so let's factor out a 2. Now factor the trinomial, and we can try to see what times what makes 2x squared is 2x and x. What times what makes negative 60? Let's try negative 3 times 20. 
check. So the outers are 2x times 20, so that's 40x. Inners are negative 3x, so it's negative 3x, so 40x minus 3x is 37x. Set each factor equal to 0. I don't say 2 equals 0 because 2 doesn't equal 0, and there's no x. We're looking for x, so we really just need the factors that have the x's, so it's just the ones in the parentheses there. Solve each of those. And you get 3 over 2 and negative 20. But I can't use negative 20 because my distance has to be a positive number. We can't have negative distances for a width of a border. So it's 3 over 2, or 1 and a half feet, or 18 inches. Good luck.